Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, JB, with JB's Barbecue and Guns. Coming at y'all again today with another video. Today's video, y'all, I'm going to be doing my first ever cook on my new Oklahoma Joe Bronco drum smoker right here. I'm super excited for this, y'all. I'm going to be doing ribs today, okay? I seasoned this thing the other day, and it is as advertised. It holds the heat like you wouldn't imagine. It's almost like you can just set it and forget it. So what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be going through some of the features as I cook on this thing, okay? And let y'all see how this thing rolls. I'm excited. But what we're going to do right now is go inside and get the ribs all prepped up, all right? But before we do all of that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you don't miss any videos in the near future. See y'all inside. All right, now I'm just go ahead and sprinkle some rub on here, man. Some of this JB's rib rub. And just to let y'all know, my rib rub will be available for purchase and shipping here in the near future. I got some more things to iron out, some more uh, logistics stuff to iron out, but you will be able to purchase this in the near future and it will get shipped to you with my label, and uh, my logo and everything. So be on the lookout for that. All right, y'all, we're out here at the smoker. And I'm gonna show y'all kind of uh, how we're gonna set this thing up. So today, we're, we're not gonna need the grate. So we're gonna take the grate out. I just set it over here, all right? And these are the little hooks that you put the meat on. Now, as you can see right here, I don't know if y'all see, they have these little notches. And I'll show you over here when I put them in. They have these little notches that go down into the hole so that it fits to where it doesn't swivel back and forth. And I think that's a, a really nice feature, okay? So another thing that we're gonna look for is uh, I have a, a deflector plate in here, a heat deflector plate. And depending on how low these ribs hang, I might keep this in and I might not keep it in, but we'll see once the ribs get out here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh situate these like this so y'all can see what i'm doing all right and see how these don't turn just like that that's a good feature all right and another thing i want to show y'all is how easy this thing is to uh put together and clean up yesterday or the other day i did a um a seasoning on it and so this is the the pan where all of the charcoal and everything goes to and so it the the ashes sift through the grates down into that ash pan and all you have to do is take that ash pan out when you're done you know after everything cools off and just dump it so there's nothing collecting uh in the bottom of the barrel okay that's a really neat feature so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna set this camera up and i'm gonna uh, show y'all how to set this up so that the fire can get going all right, y'all, so this is how we're going to set this up so we can get to cooking, okay? So today I'm going to be using some uh, Kingsford uh, Mesquite charcoal. That's just kind of what I want to go with today. Uh, so what you want to do is just fill this whole thing up. You want to fill this whole thing up, all right? All right. Now what you want to do is put... Um, your, your, your starter in there. Now, I got some tumbleweed. I got one thing of tumbleweed, okay? So you can either use these uh, tumbleweed starters or you can use something like some wax cubes or something like this, this fire starter stuff. Either thing will work. Just today I only have one of these and so I'm gonna kind of mix and match, but it really doesn't matter. So what you really want to do to get a long burn, you want to start it on one side or the other. So today I'm gonna start it over here and the idea is for it to start here and, it, and it'll creep over from this side all the way to this side, which gives you that long burning process, okay? So I'll go ahead and stuff these down in here so they can get started like that. And then what you want to do, today I'm going to be using some uh, uh, pecan wood chunks, okay? You want to situate these throughout the cook okay so that you can have a consistent burn so what i'll do i'll probably just put one where i start the fire one here one here one in the middle 
and probably one back here. That way I have a consistent burn all the way over. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, all of these charcoals probably won't burn up today, okay? And that's the good thing about this. You can use your unlit charcoals for the next burn, okay? I love this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, get the fire going, and then we'll be right back. All right, now I'm gonna get these charcoal lit up so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. So we'll go ahead and strike the match and light the tumbleweed, all right? And then we'll light up the um, wax cube over here. Get that lit up. All right. Now, as those catch, I'll kind of bring the camera over here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. All right. Now, the idea is for it to burn from here to this side over here, okay? All right, so now what I'll do is I'll just take my hook, kind of grab it like this, and put it down in the barrel just like this. And it's just as simple as that. Now, you want to open up everything just like on a regular. You want to open up everything to start. So we'll open that up. We got the uh, exhaust pipe up there opened up. Let me open it up some more. All right, and like I say, man, about 15, 20 minutes, we'll come out here, uh, close the lid up, situate the racks on here, and then we'll be ready to cook, and then we'll get our um, temperature dialed in to about 250, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Oh right, yeah, now we're going to go ahead and get the uh, hooks into these uh, pieces of meat right here. So. Uh, what you're supposed to do is put the hooks about two to three rib bones down. So that way, um, it'll have enough tug on it to where it, if it starts to get tender, your meat won't drop down into the charcoal. So we're going to go, let's see, let's go three down and see how that works. All right. Now let's go two down. That don't seem to work. So we're going to go two ribs down. And just like that. So that's how it hangs when it's on the uh, smoker outside. So we'll go ahead and get these other two done just like that also. This is one, two. Just like that in the middle. Poke it through. Just like that. All right. And we'll get this other one done. through and just like that all right so we'll meet y'all out at the smoker and we'll get the smoker all right y'all so we got the smoker set right at 250 and i'll show y'all just as soon as we get these uh ribs hung up now i got the deflector plate in here so i'm gonna see how yeah i'm gonna have to take that off because it's in the way so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hang this meat right here y'all and i'm gonna take this deflector plate out of here and then we'll be back all right, so I had to take the uh, deflector plate off, the heat deflector plate, because these ribs were just too long and it was hitting up against that plate. But we're going to go ahead and get these ribs hung up. And I'm gonna hang them with the meat facing, kind of facing the fire, okay? Like that. And these racks are designed to hold um, three slabs of ribs each, but I'm venturing out to say that you can get four on here. So all together, you can probably smoke about 12 racks of ribs right here, okay? Four, eight, 12. That's a lot of space. Now let me get this one hung up. All right. All right, so that looks good to me, y'all. I'm going to let these ribs go for about an hour or so, hour and a half. Then we'll come back and we'll check them out. All right, so I just kind of wanted to show you all how this thing holds temperature, man. I had to play with it uh, just a little bit to get it to uh, 250. But it's holding steady right at 250. And I expect for it to hold at 250. And what I did was I adjusted the intake to this uh, one notch right here. 
and then on the chimney up here on the exhaust i also got to set at one so kind of a note to self and to y'all out there that might be uh thinking about getting the uh, oklahoma joe bronco smoker the one setting is going to give you that even 250 uh cook okay so i'm expecting this thing to stay at 250. so i'll see y'all in about maybe 30 45 minutes to conduct the first check and see where we are all right y'all so it's been about one hour maybe 15 minutes or so as you can see the temperature still right at 250 so let's open it up and see what's going on Woo! yes sir yes sir looking good looking good oh look at that color on there y'all that's awesome look at that get down in there let's look at the charcoal now you see the charcoal y'all see how it's slowly burning down there that's what i like about it it hadn't even really made it to the first um chunk yet and it's just chugging right along man that's what i like about this thing but look at the color on there man so what we're going to do now i'm going to take my little sprayer right here i just got water in it and we're just going to spray them down kind of keep them moist let me pump it up right quick so i can get some water on there pump it up but they they moist as hell already so let me go ahead and get some of that on there don't take much just keep them moist and get the back side over here Ooh, look at that y'all that's gonna be awesome or well, awesome or however you want to see it <laughs> that's cool man well yeah so we'll check back in another hour we're just letting it roll man i'm loving this thing okay so it's been right at about two hours now that these things been on here and as you can see we're still chugging along right at about 250. this is awesome man and i i hadn't even been back out here until now to check anything so it's been chugging along right at 250. let's open it up see what's going on oh yes sir yes sir look at that Woo! let's go ahead and get some water on them keep them moist yo yes sir i'm liking this and i i think i'm gonna try to get these done without wrapping them but this would be my first time not wrapping ribs at all as you can see down there only half of the charcoal basket is, is starting to burn i love this thing y'all so about two hours in and i'm gonna go ahead and uh spritz them down some more but as you can see these things are looking awesome man awesome all right, y'all, so I uh, I checked the reels a while ago. <laughs> These things look awesome. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap them up in this butcher paper right here because they're starting to get just a, a little bit darker than what I would like. I mean, they're not too bad, but I'm just going to take them off. And I'm going to take them over here. Now, if I bring this one over here, it looks awesome, man. It looks fantastic. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this... Uh, these slabs on here, spray them down with some water, and then I'm gonna wrap them up. All right, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put the grate on here, and I'm gonna leave them on there for maybe about an hour, okay? Along with some sausages we have right here. This thing can do it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these things wrapped up. Then I'll see y'all at the final cook. All right, y'all, we are finally done, okay? And I can tell you right now, these ribs are fantastic. They smell great. They look great. Let me show you. They look fantastic. I, I could only fit two on this pan, so, but they look fantastic, man. They're absolutely gorgeous. I can tell you now that Oklahoma Joe Bronco is the truth. Now, uh, one thing I will say, I don't know how it would handle or be in a long cook, like say for brisket, you know, because I think you might get about 10 hours maximum out of it, you know, just depending on what size of brisket it is. But I'm telling you, for pulled pork and ribs and stuff like that, chicken or whatever the case, I think the Oklahoma Joe is just, it's going to be my go-to, okay, for those kind of meats. But I can tell you now, it did its job on these ribs right here today. A1, excellent, hell temperature, I'm impressed. And I want y'all to check out this smoke ring right here. Now, I mean, this smoke ring is deep. Uh, I'm gonna just show y'all how deep this smoke ring is. Look at that smoke ring right there. You get awesome smoke 
from that Oklahoma Joe. That smoke ring is just as deep as it would be coming off of an offset smoker or whatever. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. Mm. Mm. That's awesome. Mm. That's awesome. All right, y'all, there you have it. My, my very first cook with the Oklahoma Joe Bronco drum smoker, and I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm impressed with the heat retention. I'm impressed with the overall build and the overall cook that this thing displayed today, and you'll be impressed too if you decide to purchase one. So as we always say, it's your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns, saying y'all be easy, peace, be safe, roll tide.